A garage has a footing 18 inches wide. The outer dimensions of the garage are 24 feet by 27 feet. We want to find the inside dimensions and the inside area. The first thing to recognize here is that the footing width is given in inches, but the dimensions are given in feet. So let's begin by converting 18 inches to feet. There are a couple ways of doing this, but as long as we remember there are 12 inches in one foot, we can take 18 inches and divide by 12 inches to do the conversion. So that would be 18 divided by 12. There's one 12 in 18. One times 12 is 12 and we subtract. That'd be a remainder of six. So that means there are one and six twelfths feet in 18 inches. We put the remainder over the divisor, but six twelfths is equal to one half. So we can say one and one half feet, or in decimal notation, it would be 1.5 feet. So 18 inches is equal to 1.5 feet. And now to find the inner dimensions, we want to find the length of this side and the length of this side. Well, we know the total length from here to here is 24 feet, but of course that's too long. So to find the inside length, we would take 24 feet and then subtract 1.5 feet for this length and then also subtract 1.5 feet for this length. So again, if we start with 24 and we subtract 1.5 twice, that's the same as subtracting three, the inside length would be 21 feet. Now to find the length of the other side, we have to take 27 feet and subtract 1.5 for this length and 1.5 feet for this length. So that'd be 27 minus 1.5 twice or minus three, which would be 24. So the inner length here would be 24 feet. So now we have the inner dimensions. It'd be 21 feet by 24 feet. Now we also want to find the inner area, and since we have a rectangle, to find the area, we'll multiply the length and the width. So the area would be equal to 21 feet times 24 feet. We'll first multiply by four. Four times one is four. Four times two is eight. Now we'll multiply by this two, which is in the tens place value. So two times one is two which would put in the tens place value here, and then two times two would be four, and now we add four, this would be 10, so we carry a one, and one plus four is five. So the inner area would be 504 square feet. Remember, the units for the dimensions are in feet, the units for area would be square feet. I hope you found this helpful.